Ugh. Take it off, you big orange baby. What happened to you? He's been chasing the dragon. Donut, shut up. He was drugged just like me. That's what I'm saying. He fell off the wagon and shook hands with the devil. Shut up. He's been riding the wave and tripping the Technicolor Dreamscape. Far out, man. Druggy loser. Will you stop, Donut? All you're doing with your stupid anti-drug lingo is making me actually want to try drugs. Choose life, Simmons. Choose it. Yeah, that sounds like fun. We're not you out, Griff. Was it those dirty blues? And we're attacking the enemy base with no support. I didn't cut us off from command. You interrupted the radio transmission. No, I didn't. Whoever Sarge was talking with was already down in that cave. I just walked up and started talking to Sarge in the middle of it. What the fuck do you think interrupting means? Can I hear too? Yeah! You're giving me a headache! Andy, is that you? No, I'm the other talking bomb. Francis! Pleased to meet you, you dickhead! I thought you were busy helping the enemy. Nah, they didn't need me anymore. Apparently, that revived guy learned enough alien language to get by. And then it was, what have you done for me lately? Hey, what was that deal they were talking about when I was all drugged out? Griff, I'm proud of you. Admitting you have a problem is the first step. Fuck off, Donut. Baby steps, Griff. That new alien... That's gay. Oh, let's finish this fight later. Look, what's that? <gasps> that looks like sister's armor. Oh, no. What happened to her? Clearly, she's been disintegrated. Why would they do that? Oh, we can't tell Griff. He's going to be devastated. Tell me what. Tell you that your sister's been vaporized by the blues. What? Sarge? <laughs> it's just like ripping off a band-aid. Quick and incredibly painful. We just talked about this. I thought we agreed not to tell him. What? You really need to start thinking about other people's feelings, Sarge. Son, the only thing I need to do is stay red and die. What? I'm really sorry, Griff. She's dead. How could this have happened? Oh, man. That was my little sister. I mean, I know we don't always see eye to eye, but I still loved her. This has to be hard, Griff. I don't know what to say. I, I just... I had no idea the last time I saw her was going to be the last time ever. I'd give anything to see her again and just to talk to her one last time. And I'm never going to get that chance. It's the most empty feeling in the whole world. Oh, hey, look! She's not dead! She's just naked! What? That little slut! I'm gonna kill her! Take a screenshot! Take a screenshot! Put your clothes back on! What's the one thing I told you? Don't embarrass the family! I don't think she's embarrassing it. Whoa! Why is she doing splits? Uh, is this that Facebook thing I keep hearing about? Does this thing take dollar bills? Come on! That's my sister! And you're looking at her naked! So? She's not our sister. Stop looking at her! What does Donut get to look? Hey! Why does the blue base get so much more natural light than ours? It gives the interior a much more airy and open feeling. That's why Donut gets to look. Oh, look! She's putting her armor back on! Uh, I mean... Oh, look! She is putting her armor back on! Good work, soldier! Don't patronize me! It looks like the Blues are having some kind of meeting! What? Right. Caboose! No! Stay back! Don't get near the tank! Caboose! No! Whoa! Looks like the blue one just got killed by the tank! A blue got killed by their own tank? Man, I just had the weirdest sense of deja vu. Hey, speaking of getting tanked, we should see if the Blues have any beer around here. Hi-ho! Oh, I forgot about Caboose! Ah, I am dead! Caboose! No! Elder, looks like the blue one just got sniped. Hey, speaking of getting sniped, we should see if the Blues have any beer around here? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I don't know. It sounded a lot funnier in my head before I said it. Man, I just had the weirdest sense of deja vu. Oh, crap. Okay, bye. I don't want to help anymore. Whoa! Looks like the white guy just got stabbed. Hey, speaking of getting stabbed, I think I have a headache all of a sudden. For some reason, I want a beer. Man, I just had the weirdest sense of... Man, what's that thing called when you think you've done something, but you don't know if you did it? How the fuck should I know? Simmons! Simmons! Man, that thing is loud! What? Come on, let's sneak around the back of the rock and get him out. Okay! Get down! Jesus! Let's go, before they figure out what's going on. Ah, crap. I don't think we're going to be able to get around this way. Tell me again, uh, why did we get out of the Jeep? Well, I guess it was this, or sit there and watch you shoot rocks all day long. Well, at least that was fun. Holy crap! What in God's name is that thing? Tucker! Dude, hold still. I don't think it sees us. Wow.
Why is it just sitting there? Just trying to mess with our head. Let's get back to the warthog. This tank is equipped with an auto-fire sequence that can be activated by pressing the auto-fire button. Auto fire, auto fire. Here, here. No, wait. Okay, that's more of a switch in the button. Procedures. Okay, you ready? Let's do this on three. One. Wait, on three? Or three and then go? On three. It's always faster to go on three. Okay, okay, on three. Here! Tutorial deactivated. Auto fire sequence activated. Ready? Acquiring targets. I'm going for the Jeep. Cover me. One. Target acquired. <laughs> oh, shoot. Two. Target locked. Three. Oh, you backstabbing cockbite. Firing main cannon. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Firing main Shit. cannon. Hey, dude, the Jeep blew up. No kidding. Thanks for the update, Tucker. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's get out of the Jeep and sneak around the side of the rock. Great plan, you idiot! The tank was real! And he's been ordered by the judge to stay at least 200 yards away from us. Oh, come on, that wasn't a real judge. That was Donut wearing a powdered wig. Over. <clears throat> Overruled. Shame on you. We are now holding auditions for the permanent position of second in command here at Blood Gulch Outpost Number One. What? And since Simmons is disqualified because of the aforementioned cuckooness, and since Griff is ineligible, or because I don't want to compete, because you're ineligible. No, I just don't want to compete. Of course you don't, because you're ineligible. <sighs> Whatever. I guess that means I get the job because I'm unopposed, which is the same way I got most likely to be fabulous in high school. Actually, no, not. I managed to find some other candidates for you to compete against. Huh? We've located an old wrench used by Lopez and this skull of unknown origin. Some dirt and a rock entered the preliminaries, but they didn't make it to the semifinals. Lazy bastards. Yes, you guys are going down. In your face, wrench. In your face. Take that, bonehead. <laughs> Woo! You'll be competing against each other in a series of grueling events. In order to gain my attention, first up, the obstacle course. Griff, get the alligators! I thought I was ineligible. To earn my respect, dirtbag, you're still perfectly capable of grunt work. Oh man, I can't believe this. My life was going exactly as planned. I was second in command of a marginally successful unit. I had a superior officer who genuinely cared about me. I had the respect and admiration of all my peers. That was the dream! How did it all go so wrong? How? How? And now, Griff has asked to say a few things about our beloved Sarge. Hey everybody, it's great to be here. Well, what can I say about a guy like Sarge? I mean, besides, good riddance. Ho! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! But seriously, Sarge lived a great life. And now that he's dead, our lives are pretty good too. Zing! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Come on, is this a remembrance or a roast? Quiet in the front row. And I'm not asking, and he's not telling. But I heard when Donut first came to the base, Sarge spent a lot of time talking about glazed donut holes, if you know what I mean. hi -o! Too soon! Hey, now. This is the worst funeral I've ever had. You losers better step up the crying pronto. Oh, don't worry, sir. I've written a stirring speech that's sure to tug at everyone's heartstrings. Good to hear it. Now get with the eulogizing. On it, sir. And who could forget the time Sarge showed us all how to field strip Simmons? Okay, that's enough. I said five minutes, Griff. Bye, everybody. I'll be appearing at the Laugh Cavern every Tuesday. Ladies drink free. Woohoo! Not you. Aww. Okay, whatever. Get off. Hello, everyone. I'm here to say a few words about our friend, Sarge. Boo, you suck. Griff, get off the stage. Uh, sorry. Okay, like I was saying, I'm here to say a few words about Sarge. Boo, you suck. As you all know, Sarge was a magnificent leader, and he was a great inspiration to all his troops. Simmons was right. This is so emotional. Where's my hanky? He was a man of honor. Discipline and character. It's like he's saying what we're all thinking. If he was saying what I'm thinking, he'd be on and But perhaps his greatest accomplishment as a military man Tell it. and a friend preach on, preach on. was developing my considerable skills as a soldier and a leader. What? As you all know, Sarge's untimely demise leaves a gap in our command structure. 
A gap that is best filled by Sarge's right-hand man. A man that has a vision for the Red Team. Sarge, is, is he campaigning for your job at your funeral? Classy. The Red Army is faced with a difficult choice. The choice of who will lead us to glorious victory. Let's hope they choose a great candidate. A candidate whose armor is actually a shade of red. Sarge would have wanted it that way. Choose Simmons. It's the only thing Sarge did in life, so don't let his whole existence be in vain. In closing, somebody died. Vote for me. Awesome speech! Is this the kind of...